Well, hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. How you guys doing? I've got a really cool product review slash awesome print that I've done. I was contacted by Ravi over at Filamentive and he said, hey, I wanna send you some filament to, to, to look at. It's, it's made from recycled materials, that's great. And I also had a need to make something really big. So I put the two together and I'm gonna show you what I did. You ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. So it's it was a while ago, I got this email from Ravi over at Filamentive, and their idea is they, they, make, they make sustainable filament. It's filament made from, from renewable resources. It's called, it's got an R in front of it, so R-P-L-A. In fact, if you're subscribed to Maker's Muse, you should probably go over there, go over there. If you're subscribed to Maker's Muse, you, you've probably saw Angus talk about this RPLA and how much he liked it. Well, Angus, you weren't wrong. I also liked the RPLA, but first let's get into the packaging. Ravi sent me two rolls. I got an, a roll of RPLA, so a recycled PLA, and I got RPET, an RPET, RPET. So the box, the box looks like this. It's, it's just an easy white cardboard box. You open it up, take the roll out, toss the box aside, and look at this. It's one kilogram of filament. This happens to be the, the RPET, and it's orange. It's, it's wrapped in plastic, so it's airtight, and it's got a desiccant bag in there to keep the moisture out of the filament. This PET is nice, and I'm gonna find something to print with this, and I'll, I'll probably print it on the Lulzbot Mini or my FlashForge Creator Pro because both of those have the have heated beds. I'm really looking forward to printing with this RPET, so thanks for this, Ravi. RPET aside, that roll of RPLA that I got, well, I, I put that to good use. First, a little backstory. You remember Bender, right? This big Bender that I, that I printed, he was red and gloriously saucy red. Well, then I took that bender and I printed it in gray. I cut a hole in the back and I made a bank, a bender bank. I, it's true, I love this bender model. It's, it's fantastic because you can print it with or without infill and you can print it with all sorts of different materials. It's just, it's a really, it's a really fun model to print. So of course I printed a little one. Hey baby. That's what bender would say, right? It's just a little bender. It's just a little bender. The details uh, on, on, on this bender are fantastic. The, the RPLA did a, a, a fantastic job in recreating this model. I printed this on my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus. It's got a 0.5 millimeter nozzle, but it was still able to get a lot of the detail. The filament did a really good job. Well, with that in mind, I knew that I'm printing on my GMAX printer, so I like to print big, and this, this is a one kilogram roll. So I tried to print a big bender, and I think, I think you probably saw that, that horrible mess, that just that mess of filament that I had. I, I had an idea of what the problem was. There was, inside this bender model, there's, there's a problem with the eye sockets in the back. It was, if you print it with, with you, if you print it with infill, it actually works fine. But without the infill, it starts having to print some internal things in midair. So I talked to Angus over at Maker's Muse. He is a whiz with mesh mixer. Boy, that's a mouthful. Anyway, he fixed it. He fixed it up for me, and he sent me back that model. So, Angus, a big thanks to you. Now I could resume printing, and I wanted to print it big. And if I want to print the bender as big as I want on the G-Max, in fact, the bender model itself is bigger than the G-Max can go vertically. And the G-Max can go 21 inches vertically. So I retooled my, my plans and I thought, I'm going to make a bender helmet. Well, <laughs> I did. You want to see the time lapse? All right, I'll show it to you. You ready? Time lapse. Well, 
there we go. That was, that was fantastic, wasn't it? It's, it's huge. How huge? <laughs> it is. It is this big. It is. It is. Ready? Ready? How do I look? Do I look awesome? I can't see out the, the eye holes because there's no holes in the eyes. Please tell me I look awesome. Oh, I hope I look awesome. Well, as you can tell, this is as big as my head, and it's pretty fantastic to wear. I don't think it's practical because the eye holes are still kind of small, so I would have to cut out larger holes, and I don't like cutting holes in Bender. If you notice on the model, and you probably saw it on the time lapse, there's these, there's these weird lines right here, and I, I don't know exactly what happened on the printer. The, the head may have may have caught something and skipped a little bit, or I may have a, a loose belt. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't maintain my machines as well as I should. Sorry about that. But regardless of that, this bender is glorious. And, and I just, I can't, I can't get over how freaking big this is. I could, I could stuff some, uh, some bicycle helmet foam in here, and then I could truly put it on my head, or, or maybe I mount it to my passenger seat and he can be my, my passenger so I can ride in the HOV lane. I would never do that, I promise, I promise, I don't do that. Well the filament was still loaded on my G-Max earlier and I wanted to do a, a quick print just to, just to get an idea. So, so I printed the Falcon 9 rocket. Here I gotta lean way back for you to see that in the frame, right? Yeah, the Falcon, the Falcon 9 rocket from, from SpaceX. And it, it turned out good. Again, it's two or three perimeters. I can't remember what it was. Uh, it's nice, it's sturdy, uh, it's, it's just, it's a cool model. My friend Lisa, who just moved to LA, she is, she is incredibly talented with After Effects and motion graphics, and she's just, she's just a really cool person. So Lisa, I know you're a big science fan, and I know you love SpaceX, so this, this Falcon 9 is for you. Let's, uh, I'll tell you what. You buy the first round next time we're hanging out and you get a rocket. Deal? Well, there we go. I, I printed something big and awesome and I used a new filament to do it. Uh, the, the new filament is fantastic. As far as going from recycled materials, the, the diameter was, was correct. I, I measured it at a few points and it was, it was within the, the range it needed to be. It fed through the extruder just fine. It went from temperatures of 185 all the way to 230 and had no problems printing whatsoever. There was no jams. It looks great after it prints. This is a, including what Angus was able to do with his RPLA and what I was able to do with the RPLA, I think it proves that it is a fantastic filament and it's worthy of printing in your printers. Oh, and Ravi just emailed me not that long ago. So I believe here under my hands is how you can get this filament at a discount. Yeah. I promise you, this isn't going to be the last big thing that I print. I love, I love the big printers that I have. I love my G-Max printers. I will get some more other bigger printers. I'm gonna be printing big things. I firmly believe the year 2016 is the year of the large format desktop printer. Well, hey, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like affordable filament or if you like filament made from renewable resources. Leave a comment down below if you have any other questions that I didn't cover in my video or Angus didn't cover in his probably more thorough and in-depth video. Share this video with someone who, who might like to know about this filament. Thanks to my patrons who support me through patreon.com. I just, it's amazing. I keep, even though I keep saying all I need is, is, is hashtag high five socially, you guys, you guys keep throwing dollar bills and five dollar bills and even some ten dollar pledges. This is, this is amazing. Thank you so much. I, that support means so much and I'm going to, I'm going to put your support to good use. Again, socially give me a high five. You don't have to give me any money. But if you want to go against my wishes, there's my Patreon account up there. Thanks again for watching. It's time for me to get some Taco Bell. I'm not joking. As always, high five.